Okay, this is a demonstration of organ pipe modes of vibration. Uh, you may already be aware that a longer organ pipe, this is open on one end and also open on the other end, and this is where the air is introduced. Then there is a knife edge made out of wood that the stream of air goes through this hole against the knife edge and then there's an instability when when the air is incident on a knife edge it will this instability will cause a puff of air to come out outside of the pipe and then a puff of air to go inside the pipe alternating outside and inside and there's a particular frequency that's associated with this instability. And if that frequency matches the length of the pipe, then you'll get a resonance in the pipe. Like that. If you move to a shorter pipe, it's built the same way. Uh, the length is shorter. You get a higher sound and even shorter. You can, um, if you blow hard enough in here, force different modes to sound in the pipe. What we were hearing just then is the fundamental mode, the lowest possible frequency that this pipe will produce. But any pipe actually produces a sequence of of frequencies that follow at least approximately the harmonic series. So this is the fundamental, the lowest possible frequency. If I blow a little harder, I get a mode that, uh, for those of you that have musical background, will recognize is approximately an octave above it. Do the same thing on this one. So we get a, a lower mode, a higher mode, and then there's actually an infinite sequence of these modes that, that goes up to infinity, and that gives the, the organ pipe its character, its characteristic sound. The, uh, as I mentioned before, all of, these organ, all of these pipes that I've shown you so far are open on both ends. If you ask what happens when you close one end, and I'm just going to put my hand across it to close this end, then, uh, well first I'll do it with it open, then close it. So you'll notice that the sound is lower. In fact, uh, if you ignore end effects, uh, then the theory predicts that the sound is actually one octave lower, the frequency being half of its original value. That is the reason That's the reason why a clarinet sounds lower than a flute does. Flute and clarinet both have about the same length. The flute is open on both ends, but the clarinet, the mouthpiece end, is effectively closed. And so the lowest notes you can produce on a clarinet are much lower than the, the notes that you can produce on a flute. That's organ pipes.